All right, guys, so we know that New World just finished their beta for the game. Uh, it's supposed to come out August 31st, and we just got hit with some news. Some people liked the game, some people didn't like the game, but this right here is probably going to hurt the game a lot more than they think it is. And even though it's not that far of a pushback, it's still going to be something that is going to fall in line with a lot of other things that are coming out. Uh, people are going to be playing so much other stuff. Even though we don't even have games listed and they're not MMOs, people are just going to focus on what they have. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it, this might really be troubling for the game, I think, personally. Even if they do a lot more things and it adds some new weapons or whatever, of course, people are going to try it out. There's people that really love the game. I enjoy the game a lot. I'm still going to play it when it comes out. But I just feel like for the entire length of the game, unless they make some really good changes, this might be an issue. So let's go ahead and read this. We are humbled by the support New World received from players around the world throughout closed beta. During beta, more than a million adventurers played more than 16 million total hours. Thanks to your support, New World became one of the most watched games on Twitch and one of the most played games on Steam. The passion and enthusiasm you've shown for New World validates the work we've put in over the past year, improving the game based on your feedback. Along the way, you've also given us a ton of feedback that we'll use to make New World even better. We want New World's launch to be a smooth and fun experience for all players, and that means making some improvements based on what you encountered during closed beta. So we're going to take a few extra weeks to smash bugs, improve stability, and polish the game. New World's new global launch date is September 28th, 2021. This was not an easy decision to make. We know this isn't the first time we've changed our launch date in pursuit of quality, and that it can be disappointing to wait a bit longer, but we want to be sure we deliver you the highest quality game possible at launch. Thank you for your support and feedback. We're listening. We'll see you in Eternal. So I know a lot of people said they need to push it back. I don't know if anybody actually said another month or so. But people were saying that the game wasn't ready to release now. And I don't think it had anything to do with the bugs. Uh, and I, the stability, I think they thought they picked it up. But like people said, it could have been because, you know, it's winding down. And people were just going on to play different things. They tried it out. They either liked it, they didn't like it. And they're saving their time to when the game actually comes out. And so they're going to improve stability. Polish the game. And New World's new global launch date is September 28th, 2021. And so hopefully this month we see some another patch note. Because they said one last patch note before the launch, which was last in July. Which is the end of July. Um, was their last patches that they were coming out with. So we need to see some more notes coming here in uh, June. All right, for August. Even though the game's going to be coming out next month. We need to see what they're doing, that, what they're going to change. We need more detail on that as players go. Because... Just with just a month, they could have launched the game August 31st. It's less than a month. They could have launched the game August 31st and done weekly patches and updates to the game, still worked on bugs, improved stability, and paused the game when the game was released while people were playing the game. And that would have allowed people a lot more time to see these changes being made in action and react to them at that point in time. And I think it would have been for a better overall positive uh, outlook for the community like the community would have been like oh wow they're fixing these problems like as more people played the game that are actually playing the game not those that pre-ordered it to get in closed beta or those in closed beta but the people that just got the game who are waiting for it to come out who didn't touch the game that would get them to be like oh i can really see this game changing while i'm playing it or these updates are really nice there's a lot of things about the game during that closed beta period uh, it was kind of like a uh, forced inflation on servers and some of the hype with uh, the event they had going on the battle for new world event that they launched and i think that might have probably was a test to push the servers and stuff like that uh i don't know guys i'm still gonna play new world when it comes out september 28th and give you my opinions on it i didn't do anything for the closed beta really i wanted to do some stuff as far as lore and such goes but i didn't want to spend so much time in the game i already spent a lot of time in alpha and I couldn't share all that stuff with you guys before. And I spent a lot of time in the preview event during the uh, shutdown when everybody was at home. And so now I was just really just kind of waiting to see what the game's going to actually come out. And then I'll start putting together more videos. Once they actually have a full set of things that are released. Um, you know, the ch all the changes that are going to be made. How the gameplay and stuff like that is. I don't want to talk about my thoughts on the beta. Because the beta is not indicative of what the full release is going to be just probably like the land layout and stuff like that so i was going to wait till the new release came out 
play that and then give my opinions and thoughts on it and what I thought about it at that point in time uh, about the change and stuff like that. And I still can do that. It's going to be a little bit later. Um, it's uh, end of September, I guess. So they're going to be competing with some things. Uh, you know, Endwalker comes out in November, which is like a couple of months from then. So they'll give you like a month of playtime. If, you, if you're playing Final Fantasy XIV, you're definitely going to want to play the new expansion of that. Versus New World. So if you're playing Final Fantasy XIV, you'll probably jump into... Stop playing New World to play the Nellie's expansion. Uh, it'll be interesting. It will be interesting. Pretty tough. I know people that have their whole channels created around New World. Uh, everything they're doing. It's only a month. It feels like it's so much. I'm talking about it like it's like a long way out. And it's really, in reality, it's only a month of wait time. But people were ready. People were ready to push out this content. And uh, now it might all change. So... We'll see. We will see what happens with New World. And uh, hopefully it still does good. I, I really think the game has a lot going for it. It's very unique. Just walking around and stepping in the world. It's, it's always cool. The trees and stuff like that. Is it determining which path you want to take? Do you want to try to chop down all the trees? Do you want to level? Do you want a PvP? That's going to be the hardest decision for you as a player. To decide what you want to do in New World when you start playing it. Is where do you t What do you tackle first? What do you knock out? And hopefully, you know, we'll see some good things. A lot of people are concerned about how companies can take over the world. Of Like one large company takes control of a server. I feel like you know, the way the things are set up, that, that might be kind of impossible. I didn't do the invasion, so I don't know if that's company-based. If companies have to choose the invasion people. Um, I feel like anybody should be able to take part in the invasion. That should be like a, a world, a game-wide event, the invasion thing should be, instead of just a zone event that anybody can participate in and not just uh you know not just an instance event so if it's instance they definitely need to change that to be to make it more a world open event so where people are just running around and we're open up and the invasion actually happens all over the eternum and not just in one area so we'll see what goes down that's more of a bigger change than whatever they have to do here as far as fine-tuning walking running jumping attacking hitboxes and stuff like that so with that said that's going to be the end of this video uh let me know what you guys think are you are you still excited for new world are you going to wait till you get it are you going to get it right away or, or what are you doing what's your thoughts on it what's your thoughts on the delay let me know in the comments and i'll talk to you guys there see you in the next video thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like the video and i'll talk to you later peace